Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the 2010 re-release of the Revell of Germany Dumper Trailer Kit in 124th scale. Now the kit was originally a, a, an Atalary kit uh, and a new tool in 07 and this is just an exact uh, reboxing. Now while it's hard to find them available on the uh, secondary markets, you can still find them on uh, on, on online uh, auctions, etc. Now this is European design and although it could be American, these are more likely to be seen over there. It's a skill level 4 kit which means it's for the advanced builder and contains 172 parts molded in silver, gray, red and has vinyl tires. Now the decals are water slide and they include uh, multiple European country plates and designs for the same diff company with different uh, territories. The build up is straightforward and uh, this kit fits very well. Uh, when you're done it's 14 and a half inches long, four and a half inches wide and five inches high but it will extend to over 14 inches tall when it's in full dump mode. Here are the contents of the kit and um, it's pretty nicely molded. You could actually just build this kit uh, without paint um, but it seems to have a better overall coloration and finish when you do. Um, I would uh, let you know here that we're going to be using Model Master liquid cement for most construction, occasionally super glue for fragile parts and um, if there were any glass parts we'd use some white or clear glue. Now the decals are, are very uh, colorful and the register is excellent um, and there are some large ones but most of them go on flats however if you find any contours or rivet or panels uh, you'll want to use some of uh, the aftermarket setting solutions so that they uh, stick and conform to the contours. Get these parts out of the kit uh, and we'll be using these for the frame. We're going to construct most of the frame uh, prior to painting that so that we get the best possible glue joints for the uh, structural uh, need there. Assemble the airbags and the spring mounts and the shocks will be painted black and assembled later. The airbags are flat black and a 50-50 silver and gold and there are mounts for the fenders uh, on the frame that are black as well. Now gather up these parts and assemble all of the cross members and note the green circle uh, and that's where there's a missing cross member that I did not add prior to the pick because I forgot about it so it was added later you will need it in there. Uh, now the brake boosters uh, are once again are 50-50 silver and gold. It's a rather intricate assembly but um, it, it actually uh, works very well. The uh, chassis is then assembled and painted uh, and the shocks are added into place at this time. We'll need these parts now to assemble the wheels and assemble the wheel fronts and rears and then paint them chrome color. After they dry the hub blocks are then painted flat black. Now slide the tires onto the wheels and leave the riding side faced out. Now note the yellow arrows here. Um, we deviated from the instructions. I added the brakes with the wheel assemblies um, here and not earlier as in the directions. All six brakes are then added and then the wheels are slid onto the axles and only the hub locks are glued to the axle. Now we'll get these pieces out of the kit to assemble the trailer legs and then um, we leave the feet off for now and paint the legs red and then the feet are separate, they're painted flat black. Now assemble the legs and the feet together and add them to the trailer. Now we'll collect these pieces and assemble the six fenders. Also assemble the tanks with their mounts and then paint all of the units a, a matte black color. Uh, and then install the fenders into place with the mud flaps at the rears. Now the tanks go to the rear set of holes in the frame rail cross members. Now we'll get these parts together to start the uh, assembly of the dumper body and it gets assembled basically prior to painting. The red tube on the hydraulic lift though that's going to be matte black and the rest are chrome and then the bumper is a red color. Now find these parts in the kit they include the bottom brace and some brackets etc and get those staged for assembly. Now on the body of uh, bottom, install the bottom brace 
uh, in its location. And then the side clamps, as you see in the yellow circles, uh, those will be installed along with the locking clamp. And then on the back end, add the frame brace to that. Now we'll be adding these uh, rails, etc. And um, you can add the top rail and the ends while adding the rear door. And then add the rear brace for the door and add the rear frame unit. Now install the inner angle ramp for that back end. Now uh, still at this end we're going to add the rear uh, bumper there. So go ahead and install that. And then assemble the hydraulic ram uh, and hold on to that for a minute. So, um, you get an option here between a closed um, dumper box and an open one. So you, you have to choose here and these are the pieces for either unit. Okay, and you then um, uh, paint the canvas top the color that you want. I used a drab green for mine for the closed end uh, dumper. And then add the crank that, and then the three clips uh, that you see uh, were in a yellow circle there. So gather up these parts and prepare to mount the dumper to the chassis. And then paint the main dump pivots red, the hydraulic ram mounts red, and then the top mounts black. Now the brake lights are black with chrome uh, bezels or lenses and the uh, wheel chalks are yellow. Now use some super glue and install the dumper uh, pivots and the bed and the hydraulic mounts to the chassis locking uh, the ram into place and the upper mounts locking the top into place. Now add the brake lenses to the lights and install those and add the chocks. So corral these pieces and they are used to assemble the front galley. So go ahead and assemble that according to your instructions or look at the diagrams of pictures here. And then um, you can paint it aluminum to match the dumper. Now the frame brace is um, painted red. Now once that's done, uh, scrape any paint uh, from the areas of contact. Uh, take a look for those and then install the galley into position. Now it's time to install the decals of choice. Um, you can mostly use the uh, box art to see where those go. Uh, and these large decals, although they are going onto flat surfaces, uh, in order to help prevent any silvering, you might want to use some decal setting solution so that they can con uh, conform well to the contours and, and stick to the body. So once you have uh, applied those, use, use plenty of warm water and squeeze any uh, water or air that's trapped under the decals out using a soft tissue. Uh, let those dry uh, at least overnight and then go ahead and spray a clear coat to lock them into position. I decided to put a custom plate on my dumper because um, I use it strictly on my uh, gravel pit. Yeah, And uh, to do that I just printed out my logo uh, onto some plain white paper using a color ink jet printer and put some clear cellophane tape on each side and glued it to the tag area. But you can use any of the plates that are uh, uh, included in the kit of course and uh, they're fairly simple to use. Just to cut them out. Do not use them as decals. Just cut them out and glue them into place. Well there you have it. This great looking dumper kit um, complements any big rig collection. Uh, it has great fit and finish and the part locations were well defined uh, with gluing points easily identified. The whole kit just falls into position uh, and it's a breeze to build. You could, um, you could actually even paint this with just painting a few parts black and it would still look pretty nice. So I would not be uh, hesitant to go ahead and buy one of these and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step premium quality model review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.